Hello, you magnificent pricks, and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020 for episode number four of Redemption Wide, uh, our Williams career mode. And in today's episode, uh, we are going to continue our quest in getting uh, the uh, objectives of our, of, uh, our sponsors. For now, it's going, it's going quite well. Um, I mean, we've achieved all of them. Uh, now, today's episode will feature the uh, Settimana Internazionale Copi e Bartelli, uh, the Grand Prix de Cholet Pays de Loire. Uh, not sure about the rest of its content, but what's for sure, it will feature today's stage of the Tour of the, tour of the Rwanda. Uh, it is... All right, I'm, I'm going to show you the current situation in the GC. It is an interesting race. It's a race I often do, uh, even with actual big teams. Um, I just really enjoy it. Right now, the GC stands like this. Maximilian Stedman has a 40 second lead on Michal Schlegel, who's got a 240 lead on Nicola Conchi. But the final stage is a very tough stage, that's what I can tell you, right? And it's a cobble stage. Now, 16 minutes behind is the Wendell. I know it's a long shot, and I know it's 16 kilometers, I'm aware, but I once pulled it, I, I did like 18 minutes with Lutenko. On the guy that had 67 um, cobble. I need to do, to do 16 on the guy who's got 59. With an Owen Dole with 72, knowing that he's got fitness peak and plus 4. Well, potentially plus 4, I don't know about that, but he's got a fitness peak. So I think we may be onto something here. It's a plus 3 for Owen Dole, which puts him at 76 cobbles. Alright, who could help him? Charlie is going to help him. And that's basically it. I mean, we're going to send everyone that isn't Nicola Conchi in the break. We'll send, we'll maintain uh, Conchi in the break with Simone Velasco. But Fanchayu, Quarterman, Oldani and Owendol, they're all going in the breakaway. Uh, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, but I'm, I'm hoping for some damage. Right, for now it's not looking great. Uh, we've got a gap, but I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to hold on for much long. For, for like 100 kilometers. The issue is that Circus, well, what is pacing... And that's not something I had taken into consideration here. Uh, not a big fan of that. Halfway through this range, and uh, we're going to encounter a new issue very soon. Uh, I mean, Owen Dole is out of yellow, which is an issue. The other issue is that Nicola Conchi won't be able to handle that many more sectors. And there's still five of them, this one included. And I'm really not keen on that. Really not, because... Oh, Stedman is getting dropped as well. How is Schlegel holding on this well? You have 58 cobble, boss man! Schlegel, it might... It might just... Uh, pull a madness here. Schlegel might be the big winner of today's stage. Final 5 kilometers, and Owen Dool is going to get the, wheel today, the win Sorry, today in Nyabagabe. Uh, uh, six minutes ahead of the group behind them, or behind him. Uh, sadly, Michal Schlegel is still within this group. I don't understand how he's done that. Wait. Oh, Big Elf Van Melson, he was in the leading group. Well, I mean, he was in, like, the chasing group, just behind me. Oh. I mean, we're gonna put 10 minutes and 20 seconds on Nicola Conchi. It's going to be a nice comeback in the top 5. Uh, but I'm shocked at Michal Schlegel. He held on so well. He doesn't even have, like, good teammates in, in cobbles as well. Look, he's even holding on today. Like, I mean, even Ham von Hooker still being here is quite a shock in itself. But, wow. Conscious punctured. Oh, it's going from bad to worse for us. No, yeah, we get, we might even lose a place to like, yeah, no one. We actually, we we might lose a place to Owen Dahl, who, by the way, has won the stage ahead of uh, Andrea Pasqualon. I mean, once he paced the entire day, it was only deserved that they come in in, uh, in third place, in second place. Sorry, uh, Van Leberger. I would have loved to see something else than the fucking young classification right now. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I feel like Valerio Conchi, uh, Nicola Conchi, sorry, is going to lose his position to Wayne Dole. 
What was the gap? 14 minutes, right? 40 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be quite close. Also, a Wendell may have like taken a lot of points for the mountain classification today. Yeah. Uh, we, we may have like overtaken Maximilian Stedman without even wanting to. Right, Conchie came home in 25th position. We'll see what that means for him. Uh, oh, all Danny's dying. Uh, look at all of these guys dying. This is a very, very tough stage. 5.56 is the lead that Owendol had on the peloton. Peloton led by Andra Pathkolan and Bert van Leberger. But the big winner today is from the team Elkov Kasper. He is 24 years old. Michal Schlegel wins the Tour de Rwanda ahead of Maximilian Stedman, Harm van Hooker, Nicolas Conchi and Owendol. We lose our position on the, on the podium. Uh, we jump, well, we, we lose. We go from 3rd to 4th with Conchi and from 16th to 5th with Owen Dolph. For 5 little second, uh, Owen finishes behind our Italian rider. Points-wise, Maximilian Stedman will take the win. Mountain-wise, Owen Dolph will at least bring home something for the Williams Martini team. Michal Schlegel is the best young rider. Best team is the team Elkov Kasper. Uh, yeah, overall, we, we kind of struggled. We kind of struggled in, uh, in this Tour de Ronda. But, I mean, I got two stage wins. Uh, one you didn't see because that was just on my own, uh, and, and this one, I think we didn't get any other stage win, we get second. Uh, I simulated like a lot of, a lot of the tour. Got a lot of second places. Uh, but yeah, fourth and fifth in the GC, as we now move to the Settimana Internazionale Copie Bartali. Right, I won't lie, I have no idea what race to do. Alright, March is a very, um empty month in interesting races for me and even april like i'm not gonna lie we're gonna do this Settimana international because it's an objective uh let me just check if there's another objective in the meantime there probably is one nothing to uh the, the words i just said were not english <laughs> uh top five cholet pilot uh, i think we'll do uh this Settimana copy a copy bartelli and cholet in this episode because Gen a april doesn't look like a month i want to do like, I don't think there's any races here that genuinely interest me. Right, well, let's go to Italia. Italia, yeah, Italy. Uh, for the Settimana Internazionale Copie Bartali, uh, we're gonna bring the big dogs. We're gonna bring a big team out here. Uh, a window, you'll stay on the other one. We need a team that's strong in mountains. We're gonna find Cheyu Vendram and Conchi. Good old Danny, Giga Horvat, Shimone Velasco and Samuele Battistella. Oh, actually... Pretty sure there's a time trial uh, or a team time trial. So instead of having, uh... well, no, no, it's good. Because I was going to, uh, no, we, we need like to get a Charlie Quarterman somewhere. Who's raced a lot already? I think I could potentially like deal without a. Uh... Thing is, if I put Ven if I put Quarterman, he'd be on 31 race days. Uh, oh, it's between Oldani and Battistella. We're gonna remove Oldani and have Charlie Quarterman. Let's go. And what a great way to start this race with a minus four. Thank you, Simone Velasco. Plus four for the drama. Oh my. This man is too good. This man is just too good. Okay. Well, um, for now, we're just going to stay at the front. Won't send anyone in the breakaway. Uh, is there anyone like competition wise? We're gonna have to face Miguel Andrel Flores. Miguel Andrel? No, Miguel Eduardo Flores. Potentially Valerio Conti. Damien Housen. I think with the like, if Vendramme can carry on with this kind of like form across the entire race, we should potentially be able to, uh, to get a win here. No, we've got a group of 45 riders with 7 kilometers until the end. Uh, I'm expecting the rest of the peloton to come back. Uh, but it's quite funny to see them being dropped. I think that's Nicolas Bagurley trying to catch them. Uh, our trim is Battistella Vendrame Giga Horvat. Uh, because we want to bring a W to, to, to the man, the myth, the Giga. 
Uh, let's have Shimon Velasco as well in it. Uh, all right. Uh, use our gels with everyone. Uh, Concheli, Fancheyu, you can just do whatever you please. Uh, all right. Velasco will start his sprint right now. Batistel in the wheel. Vendrame, Gigaro. Okay, Giga won't take the win today because the man is definitely not where he should be. Batistella starting the sprint early. Gaburo as well, launching very early. Vendrame, is he going to have what it takes to take the win? It's going to be a win for Williams Martini Cycling once again. Andra Vendrame ahead of Alexander Kamp. Alexander Yabushenko, Batistella, Restrepo, Visconti, Tesfadzion, Batalin, Gasparotto and Giga Horvat running up the top 10 today. It is uh, the first win on this Settimana Internacional Copie Bartali. I've already forgotten the objective, but if it was a win, it's already here. Alright, uh, so as I said, first place, fourth place as well, Batistella. I completely forgot that it was in our team in Giga in 10th. Uh, I did change the background again, I'm aware, right, this is the pro cyclist background. It could well and really change during this episode, although I don't think it will, because I'm very, like, short on time. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's likely that we'll change the background, um... As the season goes on. Alright, it's our time to shine today. Uh, we'll have everyone at 99 because it's only an 11 kilometer time trial. Uh, Fancheyu, you're not going to relay. Well, who should relay? Conchi, you can relay. Charlie, you're going to relay. Giga, you're going to relay. Vendrame, you're going to relay. Mm, actually, I should put all of them on like 20. Uh, that's what, that's 60, six, well, 61 for them too, that'll be like 7 seconds, and Batistella, you'll stand 10. I don't think that's the best, um, setup I could have gone. Um, also the fact that, I mean, I have no one really good in some trouble, I mean, I, I'd have, I could have Charlie, if Charlie was in a good shape, but he sadly isn't. So yeah, uh, but it's certainly the team, Kolpak Balan, leading in Gateau Amare ahead, well, not anymore, because Barry McLaren. Decided to take the lead. Uh, is Chun here? He is. He bloody is. Big up Chun Kai Feng. Well, right, Major Scott has absolutely destroyed the time trial. Uh, there are 18 seconds quicker than NTT as we're going to cross the line. 41 seconds behind the uh, Australian establishment. Okay. I mean, we've limited the damage. Well, we're in the same time of Barry McLaren, which means we're only one second on Shun Kai Feng. It's, it's, a, it's a privilege to, to be this close to, uh, to a legend, I'm not going to lie. But the new leader is Eduardo Affini. He's there. 30, 34th. So it's probably the highest position he's ever been in. <laughs> uh, but he even lost time on his own team. That's quite sad. Fanchayu Velasco lost time as well, but it's alright. Alright, next up, Gateo Sogliano El Rubicone. Uh, is that the Rubicon? Like... Related to the Rubicon in Greek mythology? Or actually Roman mythology? I don't know. Oh. Well, they simulated the stage on the Rubicon. It's quite sad. I would have liked to know what happened. Has it been played? It has. Right there. We finished at the same time as Alexander Yabushenko. Okay. That's quite disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. I would have liked to, I don't know, play it. But I guess we won't be crossing the Rubicon today. Oh boy, well, that's not a good day, is it? Uh, can Nicola face... Okay, well, Nicola will be my leader today. Ah, that's just really not fun. Alright, let's send someone in a break, uh, just to cover our bases. Let's send, uh... Let's send Simone Velasco. Well, since Simone Velasco attacks. Right, I read Matty Breschel. Fucking hell. Marinozzi, Bobo, Brecciani, Dresti. Uh, there's Jonathan Restrepo here. Uh, Santoro has attacked. Okay. I'm pissed by the, the, the fact that the stage was simulated just before. Like, I had prepared an entire lesson about, like, Julius Caesar and uh, the cross of the Rubicon. Or the Rubicon. I don't know. But, I mean, I. I Educating channel in that, right? Big brain. If you're on my Discord, you would understand the meme behind the big brain. Uh, something has happened yesterday night, and it's definitely not an emote on my server now. But yeah, the Giga Brain Bla Black Ore is now a thing. Uh, but Simone Velasco in the breakaway is also a thing. If only he could catch Santoro, and if Santoro could catch them, four lot ahead. Right, Simone Velasco is going to get caught by the peloton. 
that's quite sad. Uh, let's start a counter attack with. Uh, would they allow Simone Batistella in the break? Let's see. We're going to get followed, obviously, by Rug, Konka, and Dominicali, but they've stopped their attack. Alessandro Covid is trying to follow me. I know it's Kovi. Uh, I'm aware. Okay, we could potentially go in the breakaway with Batistella here today. I mean, we're going to catch the breakaway, but there's only one rider in the breakaway. <laughs> so it's kind of sad. Uh, Charlie Ackerman has died. Ackerman? Oh my god. Alright, for the record, I woke up 20 minutes ago. But Charlie Quarterman is died. Uh, is died. Oh my, English. <laughs> okay, no. Charlie Williams. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, Stephen Williams is dead. So is Matty Brescheny. Uh, Amir Zahiri. Marino Z Okay, everyone's dead apart from somebody but Stella. Good. Solid. Peloton uh, is trying to catch us. Led by Subrero, which I think is Entity Continental. I think that's not the... Oh no, it is the, the Entity Entity. Alright. There's been a crash uphill. Stephen Williams and Enoch Mulebran. Why are you... Tr I mean, that's two riders I had with Bahrain, actually. But why are you trying to replicate the, 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 the masterpiece that Perito did? Like, you don't have that kind of... You, you, I mean, you're just not him. You can't do that. That's illegal. Also, my team is dropped. We're going to start the final climb up. The Piane di Mocogno. Uh, we've got Fancheyu, Conchi, Vendrame. Attack already from Valerio Conti on the right-hand side of the road. The former pink jersey, I believe, of the Giro last year. Um, Batalin is trying to chase him down. We've got Demin Hausen, the leader of the race. All right, Nicola, you're going to have to accelerate, man. If we could move past Tonelli, that'd be great. Alright. Ooh, Mikel Biak. Oh yeah, okay, that's why he's struggling, because it's Mikel Biak. Uh, we're still accelerating with Nicolas Conchi attacks on the right. Maybe Jonathan Restrepo trying to make a move. Or at least just go back into a battalion. He's going to be pacing for his leader right there. Flores, Fancheyu has decided to drop one position for some reason. Uh, I can't see why, but I swear it's like a 700 IQ play. It has to be, because we're just big brain in this team. We're going to be in the very tough portion. Attacks. Valerio Conti again. Valerio Conti attacks again. Oh, Damien Hausen. Damien Hausen is not looking good. Now, if I could, uh, like, if I finish with Valerio Conti, that's good for me. There's a 10 sec. Okay, well, no, we, we, we're going to have to make something happen. We're going to have to make something happen here. Ben King is there. Ben O'Connor is there. 1.2 kilometers left. Vendrame, I'm going to need you to, like, pace a lot. Then sprint. And now Conchi can go for it. And we're going to get blocked by Vendrame. It's a win for Valerio Conti. Uh, ahead of Nicola Conchi, who had a lot of energy. Probably not enough to beat Conchi, but somewhat some energy. Then uh, Flores, Vendrame, Ben King. Um, I think Ben King's the new leader. Then it's either Conchi in second. Or... It could be Vendrame. And if it's Vendrame, we still have a chance of winning this race. Because I think the next stage is a flat one. Alright, 13 seconds on Conchi Vendrame. So that's 23. We're going to get jumped by Conti. I think Ben King, Conti Vendrame. Uh, is it... Oh, it's a time trial. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Unless Vendrame has like a plus 5. I think Ben King has this in the bag. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's got this in the bag. Alright, we're just going to take a little break from Italian races and we'll go to uh, Cholet in the Pays de Loire uh, on the west coast of France near Nantes. A bit more in the. the yeah, the, the fields and flat terrain, but mainly the fields. Uh, we're going to bring. A good team. I'm gonna bring Stefano Danny. He was meant to be on um in the Settimana Bartali. We have to register six riders. We're going to to take away Ben Tollet because I don't think he serves any purpose in this race. And let's try to get this win. It is an objective. The aim is to be a top five. What what's the competition? Marc Saro, Sacha Modelo, Nasser Boigny, Van Poppel, Dries de Bond, Benjamin Thomas, Plancart, Maurice Cocard. And Valentin Madoise, it's not going to be an easy day at all for us. But we've proven that we could fight alongside the big names. 
Let's try to continue that and, and prove people why we should be a, what, a continental pro team next season. And yeah, let's get it. Well, it's a minus, it's a minus three for Wendell, which was my main leader today. I guess we'll have to uh, revert to Ethan Hater or uh, Thomas Pitcock. All right, I mean, we could, oh, we could also work with Aldani, to be fair. We could work with Aldani. All right, it's it's not dead yet. Already some attacks, though. We've got someone from Leopard in Schmidt. We've got Muff, or Muff, Muff, for, what's that? Is that, Riv no, it's not Rival, is it? No, 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 it isn't. Um, shit. BHS PL Beton Bornholm. I did not know that. We've got Constantin for Aubert Saint-Michel, uh, Maxime Debezay for... Oh no, that's not Maxime, that's uh, his brother for uh, Groupama Continental. We've got Davy for Groupama Continental. We've got Udry for, I think, Cambodia Cycling. We've got Toumir for... What the fuck is that? Is that like Chambéry Cyclism? Oh, the green kit is horrendous. Get this shit out of my like eyesight. Uh, we've got Salvador for... Sp uh, not Sporting Tavira. Uh, but Atum Tavira, I think. Yeah, Atum, Atum General Tavira. Then we've got Figueredo for Atum General Tavira with a very good stats actually for a continental rider. Jeez. We've got Go from Indonesia for Terenganu Cycling. Artem Oveshkin for Terenganu Cycling. Amaran Tunes for Rebu 52 Porto. I'm surprised to see him in a breakaway. Uh, Van Bella for Leopard. Ricardo Mestre for W52 Porto. Attacks again. Murph and Salvador. I. I've had enough of watching them low attack. See you in the sprints. Wow, in the final 20 kilometers of this race, um, the breakaways have been quite interesting because they're all leaders that went there. Like, uh, we saw like Amaron, Tunes, uh, and Figueredo early on. I thought it was just like a random attack, but they actually did continue. There was the likes of Yellow Van and that. There was Arthur Vichaud in the break. Like, some very good riders. Uh, there's a hill coming up as well. Which doesn't uh, strengthen me at all in my choice of sprinter. We're still going to try Ethan Hater though. Um, we'll have old Danny as well. Why not? Uh, he can hold on in the hills. So I think he should be quite good. We're going to put Connor Swift as well leading the train. We'll have a Wendell behind just in case. Uh, but I think we can already start to pace. Let's make sure not to get dropped uh, by the, the them lot already making a move. We've got Arthur Vichaud pacing again. He was in the breakaway, now he's attacking, giving all he's got for uh, his sprinter, Brian Cocard. I mean, it does make sense. Connor Swift is slightly destroying right now the team, so we're going to slow it down a bit. Arthur Vichaud is currently collapsing. That's the kind of things that I love to see. I'm going to take this left hander upon Cholet. Come on, lad. Come on, Mr. Swifty. You're 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 not the best. You're not the best Swift, all right? You're you're not a three-time stage winner on the Paris -Nice with the uh, YouTube cycling colors, but you're still a Swift, all right? You're you're still quick in that. Five kilometers left. We've uh, climbed that hill. We're gonna get blocked by Christian Sbargli, who was. One of the favorites for today, so I'm guessing he's pacing potentially for Dries de Bont. I don't know if Tim Melia is there. He isn't, he's pacing for Sacha Modolo. He's pacing for Sacha Modolo. But we're in a very good position upon the final sprint. We're going to take this left-hander. Uh, actually, we're going to start the sprint with Thomas Pitcock before the left-hander. Before we even make the corner. 1.8 kilometers. I think we have the win in the bag here because we're well and truly leading this peloton. Although, although Modelo, I've jinxed it. I've actually jinxed it. Oh, we're not going to get a podium as well. Oh no. Oh, my life sucks. Oh my god. That's the first sponsor objective we've missed. Oh wait, no, it was top 5, right? <laughs> top 5 with the Senator. We move. But I've actually jinxed it. I've actually jinxed it. Wow. I didn't see that coming. I guess we still have to work a lot uh, on our uh, on our sprinting abilities, but you could take a look at it later. He's got so much energy. Probably should have done like a recon of the finish, just to see that there was a corner there, and then uh, I couldn't have like just done a madness. All right, I did not enjoy that. I did not enjoy that race. It was way too close for comfort. I thought we had the win. And then I saw four riders coming back, and I, I saw my chances of winning get annihilated. Then I saw my chances of getting a podium being annihilated. 
uh, but we still managed to, to get a top five. I mean, we had three riders in, in five, six, and seventh. Uh, I'm pretty sure the top five was secured. All right, one more stage in this episode. The time troll in the 30 mana copy Bartali. What was my sponsor in uh, in this um, objective? Top five. I think we're currently set third and fourth. It's going to be a struggle to keep it because the time troll. We've got like a 20 or 30 second gap on Ben O'Connor and... Um, and Damien Housen, and we don't exactly have good leaders in time trial today. Alright, Charlie has a good day, we're going to take a look at his time trial, because he is, I mean, my best chance of winning this time trial today. Which says a lot about the chances of my team, but big up Charlie Quarterman, um, absolute legend, obviously, uh, kind of like the same status as Giga Horvat. Uh, actually no, but more of a Trinkai Feng, alright? He is the Trinkai Feng of Mr. Tim Soski. Although there isn't a myth around him like there is around me. But let's not talk about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 10 kilometers. We'll, we'll go 77, 76 actually. We're going to slow down a bit with Charlie. See what happens. It's currently Francesco Di Felice currently leading in Crevalcore. Ahead of Antoine Aibi and Michele Scartezzini. I do love the fact that there's three nationalities in the top 20. That's quite cool. Is there more here? No, there's only three. Alright, Charlie man. You can make this a four nationality classification. Look, at, come on. Come on, Charlie. Press on them pedals. It's going to be a top four. Well, I mean, can he make this a, a fourth nationality in top 20? Yes, indeed, he can. First place currently. Get in there, son. Get in there, Lewis. Final few corners for Mr. Quarterman. And, uh, I mean, it's going to be, a, I hope, a good time. For the British rider who is going to come across the line in Crevalcore, lacking a bit of energy in the last 100 meters, but it's all good as he crosses the line 13 seconds ahead of Francesco Di Felice for the team S80. Uh, obviously, the, uh, the the team San Gemini Trevizzo. Trevizze? Trevigiani, great. We've got Velasco on the road, and then obviously the main man, Giga Horvat. He's gonna, yeah, he's got a shit day. He's got a shit day. It's, uh, I was gonna make. Like, jokes that he is a Z-goat, all that, but, I mean, with the minus two, he ain't that. I mean, he is a goat, but but not today. Uh, he didn't, he's, he, he woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, Charlie, though, still leading in Crevalcore. Uh, I remove my statement. It's Eduardo Fini, then Alexander Edmondson, then Charlie Quarterman. Mitchell and Scott just walked all over me. They was like, <laughs> nope, <laughs> you ain't doing that, boy. Alright, Giga, across the line, it's going to be like a top 20, that's for sure, but where? It's 15th position, 108, down to 109, actually. Um, I mean, if the gaps are already like a 30 second... Oh, we've got a new leader, Michael Eben, so 1, 2, 3 for Mitchell and Scott. I'm expecting Damien Housen to be within them times. Yeah, my top 5 is looking quite ropey right now. It's Chun Kai Feng! Again, 34 seconds. I mean, he finished 34th of the team time trial. He might finish 34 seconds behind Michael Eben. Uh, should Michael Eben win? Well, I mean, no. He's going to finish 34 seconds behind Eben, no matter what. But he could finish 34 seconds behind the winner. Should Michael Eben win? This man has something with a number 34. It's also the number of wins he's had with Baron McLaren with me. That's not a lie. Right, start with Devin Housen, followed by Ben O'Connor, my two biggest threats. Come on, I beg Conchi, uh, Conchi doesn't have a good day, for fuck's sake. Oh, why, Nicola, why? And Vendram has a plus one, or a zero. Plus one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. In in the words of Angela Merkel, we're fucked. And there's a new leader, Mikkel Bjerg, Trinka, I think, 1B, 34 seconds, but 43! He's reversed the numbers! What a brain! Alright, Hausen and Ben are both 12 seconds down. Conchi's already 43 seconds behind Bjerg. So I've already lost 40 seconds, or 30 seconds. Good. Vendrame, 34. Fucking hell. How about Conti and, uh, and King? Conti's ahead. Conti's quicker than Housen. Jesu. Yeah, we're gone. We're, we're the, the top five. 
depends what battalion is doing. Uh, we'll be ahead of battalion. I think we're going to maintain the top 5, but it'll be 5th place. I don't think it'll be any any higher than that. Uh, also, can Chun hold on in the top 14? No, in the top 20. That'd be nice. I think he can. Ben O'Connor 5th, Housen 6th. Okay. Michelin Scott is going to lose despite having their entire lineup in the top 10. 108 for Conchi. He loses the, the white jersey and his position. Vendrame, 46 seconds. Hold up. 30. We're going to maintain our position for 5 seconds on Ben O'Connor and Housen. We're staying on the podium. Vendrame keeps his position position. Gets in there soon. Valerio Conti finishes in second place. That's definitely not something I saw coming. I'm not going to lie. And Ben King. 20 seconds down. He... Ooh. Was the gap 11 seconds? 13. If it was 11, he loses for, for 1 second. If it was 13, he wins for 1. He loses for 2. Okay, I feel like my brain's dead. But Vendram is going to maintain third place. Conchi drops to sixth place, losing the green the white jersey to Ben O'Connor. That's quite sad. I uh, Dresty best climber. Vendramé point classification. At least I'll take that. Ben O'Connor best young rider. I won't take that. Best team. Williams Martini cycling. Get in there, lad. Our highest finisher is Charlie Quarterman, finishing 33, 43 seconds. Sorry, behind Michael Bieg. Chun Kafeng finishing in sixteenth place. Pick up. Vendram in 18th. Good time travel from Charlie from uh, Andrea today. And then the rest of the team is uh, kind of spread out everywhere. Imagine losing three minutes on a 14 km time trial. Like, Henock, what happened to you, lad? Um, wait, so I need to make the, so, some quick maths here. It was Ben O'Connor. No, it was Ben... Wait, was it Ben King or Ben O'Connor? It was Ben King. 21... Uh, uh, there was a 13 second gap. So it was 11. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Conti takes the win in the Settimana Internazionale Coppe Bartali. He looked to be the strongest if when they came to the mountain. And yeah, he deserves the win. Ben King comes home in second place. Vendrame comes home in third. We'll happily take that, uh, knowing especially that there was a stage simulated, which was the queen stage for Vendrame, technically speaking, because he's the best in hills in uh, the uh, entire race with potentially Flores. There we go. Uh, Conti comes home in sixth position. We are going to bring one distinctive jerseys and the team classification. I can't really complain about that, can I? I don't think I can complain. We're going to advance by one day just to see what our sponsors are now saying. Um, oh, big injuries here. Simon Yates, Tade Pogacar, injured until June. Oh, goodbye, Jiro. Uh, Uran, who's, who's got the shits. Nice. Schedule, slight worry. Is that because you're going to have too many races? Can I can I see the reason as to why uh, you're you're worried? Let me pose that for a sec. Um, how do I see? Hold up. Uh, race schedule overloaded. I right, sure. I'll, I'll I'll take a look at that, boss man. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, we'll change that. So it's all Daniel Vendrame. I'm, I'm going to have 50 race days with, with Pitcock. 50 spoof with Battistella at the end of April. That's four months. That's one third of the year gone. I'm going to have to make bare, bare modifications in my schedule. Otherwise, I'm fucked here. Yeah. My end of the season is going to be fucked. Uh, meanwhile, right, what should we do in April? 53 kilometers the criterium, okay. Is this race genuine like a time trial of 5 kilometers, sprint, sprint, and criterium? Okay. Uh, I mean, my objective is the Tour of Yorkshire. We'll definitely, we'll, we'll definitely do it in the next episode. Because as I said, there's not many races that interest me here. We can do Yorkshire. Uh, that looks like a good race, but it's for the young guns. Uh, Tour du Ronal, why not? We can do like a one stage. Could do that as well. A time trial in mountain. That's lovely. That's not. Oh yeah, it is a time trial. I'd love that. Uh, and then the national championship of Slovenia. We're gonna have. We're, we're gonna make like two months in the next episode. Solid. Uh, what's my next objective? Apart from um. 
from Yorkshire. Well, Ronald Pizzer Tour. Okay, we won't make two months because we've got a lot of objectives. All right, the next episode we'll have Tour of Yorkshire, Ronald Pizzer Tour, Grand Prix de Premier League, uh, et Boucle de Lone. But I do hope I will see you there. Uh, to make sure to do so, then please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, leave a like down below if you enjoyed the episode. If there's anything you want to say, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to answer that. Uh, and I shall catch you in the very near future. My name has been Blackwall. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up, I'm out with the duster. Put him in a drip and sip, love buster.